Hello and welcome to Box, where we on Box review and demonstrate the latest tech. Today we have with us the Asus ROG Zephyrus Duo 15 gaming laptop. So we have the 15.6 inch display, which is borderline standard size for a laptop and works nicely in our favor when taking it out on the go, as it's just the right size and weight for travel. Considering this is a laptop, inside we have an amazing 32GB RAM and 2TB SSD, making this a weirdly powerful machine. You get one of the most powerful CPUs on the market right now, with the Ryzen 9 5900HX for producing the high speeds necessary for AAA games and creative software. Combine this with the NVIDIA RTX 3080 graphics card, and you have an unstoppable force that opens up so many possibilities. So if you thought that all of the surprises were out of the way, then think again. Instantly you see one of the key points of interest, you can't open this laptop and not discuss the keyboard layout first, it's unlike anything I've seen before. So now what we really need to discuss is this curious touchpad that takes up the remaining keyboard space. Now the ScreenPad Plus is a completely touch sensitive, tilted matte screen that rises up to your eyeline automatically when opened. Acting as a second screen, it brings up a whole new level to multitasking. With endless uses, it holds extra windows, lets you manipulate settings, control the laptop directly, and even work in harmony with compatible apps. And it also has some handy features accessible from the menu down the left hand side. From here, you can check the Armoury Crate performance, lock the keyboard, manage which windows you have on which screen, as well as some touch specific tools like handwriting. We hardly scratched the surface on what you could do with this extra screen space. We did however try editing on the Adobe Suite using the screen pad as a timeline. Now I've been wanting something like this for years, it's amazing to have extra room on a laptop screen for editing video, and I can say that it worked just as I imagined, so I definitely made the most of this feature. The lower two thirds are taken up by a compact keyboard. It still holds everything you expect to find on a regular keyboard, but it just looks a little different. The keys are quite shallow and backlit with a beautiful adaptive RGB lighting system. Apart from that, there are some nice additional keys helpful to special functions. On the top row, there's a hotkey for ROG Armory Crate, which is a handy system built for checking on your performance stats, from CPU and GPU to fan operation and memory. And just above the touchpad, there's a little toggle switch that turns off or hides the second screen with just the press of a button. This is handy for saving power when not in use and making sure that you don't alter anything by accident. Another power saving feature is the backlight access buttons on the directional keys, which can be activated or deactivated by holding the fun key. The touchpad is very different to your conventional laptop pad. It sits on the bottom right with your usual left and right click buttons on the base. Yet the sensation is not what I expected, having to get used to the change in placement as on a usual laptop you'll find the touchpad in the center. Pressing the symbol in the top corner, it reveals a hidden numerical pad which makes the most of the space and transforms the use when needed. Needed. I found that it had a very responsive sensitivity and feels smooth to the touch, making it easy to navigate the screens. It's a complete game changer in the market because based on the stats, this can be the perfect portable editing and gaming station. With stacks of powerful tech packed into this laptop, you'll be hard pressed to find another one quite like it on the market right now. You can create and game to your heart's content as this laptop is prepped to work at high performance with top of the line software and the latest titles. Before we get into the finer details, let's take a quick look at the overall design. Throughout, it's completely housed in this sleek, almost brushed metal material with the ROG logo on the back and a subtle dot pattern design for a sleek, stylish branding. It's entirely black, which is great for blending into any environment and balances that gamer look with a professional stance to give it more versatility. For something so powerful, we have a lot of vents on the back, sides and base, but they don't look ugly because each one is nicely designed to fit in with the shape and actually look like they were well thought out. In terms of connections, there are two USB Gen 2 3.2 slots and a USB Type-C slash display port on the right side. On the left, we have a micro SD card slot, power input and headphone slash microphone port. On the back, you'll find a LAN port, a single USB 3.2 and a HDMI port. Now it's time to take a look at the overall display quality. So the screen is 16x9 4K UHD display. It has an anti-glare matte finish, which is good if you're out on the go or up against ever-changing light conditions. It has a good sized bezel around the screen to protect it from any accidental knocks, and I found it still had plenty of space for general browsing, watching videos, especially when using the second screen. As it's a creative gaming based laptop, it will of course have some excellent colour, brightness and contrast abilities. 
the Ultra HD quality does come through quite nicely when watching the videos and playing those ultra colourful games such as Forza Horizon 4 and especially when watching movies and TV shows. Now let's get down to gaming. I played a good range of titles on this laptop to give you an idea of how they fare with performance. Of course with it being a laptop you will get some heat and long running fans but you don't have to worry about it as this laptop was designed to balance system requirements while gaming to keep it running at max performance. So you can achieve an impressive 4K 120Hz with this IPS panel which is all possible thanks to the generous 16GB VRAM. With this you get a choice between high res gaming at 120Hz or ultra fast 300Hz with 3 milliseconds response time at a standard 1080p resolution which I feel is a decent compromise compromise for that smoother experience. This laptop is built as the perfect gaming setup but it also sets you up nicely for creative projects, allowing you to edit high res video or develop inside 3D software with confidence and that it won't burn out just trying to open the project. It does help that you have the Nvidia software on your side for that added performance boost, especially when you have access to the latest in the RTX 30 series using GeForce specialised game ready drivers. Of course you will get a better performance out of certain titles over others just down to game optimization and system requirements. So what we found when playing some of these games is that the more high performance games run smoothly despite using more of the CPU and GPU with lower FPS, whereas your online based games didn't need to work as hard seeing a much higher FPS. The second screen is also a bonus when playing games. With some titles like Dying Light 2, there are some special game modes that move the heads up display and menu stats out of your field of view while keeping them in sight during play. But mostly it works best by keeping external windows such as game chats, video calls with teammates and video content within sight while still getting full screen access to your game screen. Alongside all of this, it has smart AI tech inbuilt to help balance power to your GPU and CPU and enhance performance such as frame rates within the game, as well as manage sound output from the machine based on what you're using it for. Now all of this seems pretty unreal considering that this is a laptop designed to be taken anywhere you need it. Despite everything packed into this machine, it's surprisingly light and small. I can easily hold it in one hand under my arm when walking about and it fits nicely into a compact bag. Though when it comes to battery, you do have this power pack that's slightly larger than your hand. But to be fair, with something this powerful, you'll be insanely grateful for this adapter, because it means you can go for longer without charge. So for a premium machine, you're going to be looking at a battery that matches the performance. Now initially I had this laptop on charge for a couple of hours, and then I left it off power for one hour whilst downloading a large game file. Checking on it a little while later, I was pleased to see that it was still sitting at a cosy 70%. Of course, the battery life will always depend on how much you use it and what you're using it for. So managing the power on this laptop is really easy thanks to the behind the scenes power saving and AI functions. Even after using it pretty heavily for a solid few hours, I didn't have to put it on power supply much, which is pretty reassuring. So what do you think of the Asus ROG Zephyrus Duo 15 gaming laptop? Let us know what you think in the comments below and if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to Box where we have plenty of reviews on the latest tech. And as always thanks for watching.